Alright, and welcome back to the ever so lucrative sample test store 123. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add the Facebook tracking pixel to your Shopify store. So let's head right over to Facebook and create the code. And who better to run such a lucrative store like Sample Test Store than legendary stock trader Jesse Livermore. So we're going to go to create ad. And I'm going to have to choose an objective real quick because this is a brand new uh, sample Facebook account just for this video. Alright, create a pixel, just name it that. We'll hit install pixel now and we will just copy this code and come back to here. And then once we're in the back office of Shopify, we'll go to online store, themes, and we'll hit these three dots right here and go to edit HTML CSS. And as it says over here, the, the code has to go between the head on your website. So we want this to be on every page, so we'll click on theme.liquid. And then we'll look for head right here, you can see head. That's the top, we want to put it right on top of the bottom head, so we'll scroll down, and here you can see here is the bottom. So right here, We will go ahead and paste the code in there, and then hit save. And we'll head back over here to the home page and refresh it. And now you can see that my Google Chrome application that picks up Facebook pixels is picking up the one that we just put in this store. So if you click here, you can see one pixel found on this site. So this pixel is up correctly. But if you notice, you can also get more specific with your code and you can have it track very specific activities on your store by adding something to the code here. So we're gonna add a view content. We're gonna track when anybody views any of our products because that's usually what I like to do. So we're going to copy this piece of code. We're going to come back in here and you're going to make sure you put it right here. Right after it says page view. Let's go right here. Enter twice. Put it right in the middle. And there you go. But you see the problem with this is, if we just stopped right here, this would show up on every single page. So it would be tracking every single page of our store. So we have to add a specific piece of code in here to specify which pages we want it to be on. So to show you how to do that, we'll head back to the store, we'll go to catalog, and I'll click on the one product here, you know, cool item number one. And we'll right click on this page and hit inspect. And we'll look at this code here and you can see right under the head where it starts you'll see class equals template product. So we have to put a special piece of code in so that way our view content pixel only gets activated 
when we're on a product page. So I'll show you that piece of code right now. And this will change for every other page depending on what page you want. So I already have the code in a notepad. So we're going to put in an if code. So you can see right here, I'll leave this in the description. And if, say, you want to track uh, your add to cart page or your blog page, you would just do what I just showed you by right clicking over here and inspecting. I'll just show you real quick. So let's go to blog. And if we right click on blog and then inspect, and we scroll up, you can see class, template, blog. So all we would do to change this code is take out product and put in blog. And then for whatever other page you'd want to do, you just go to the page, inspect it, and see what template it is, and then insert that in here. So we're going to copy this into our code. Right on top of view content. And then right below it, we're going to end it with this piece of code. do it and I know that code is sometimes intimidating for people I'm not the best with code either but this is very simple and if you have any more questions leave them in the comment section and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video